Before we plunge into the declaration, understanding what is significant, the molecule gas pedals are the enormous Hadron Collider, LHC, worked by CERN. It is a 17M ring of superconducting magnets and also the world's biggest and most powerful atom smasher. It addresses the apex of human logical accomplishment. As a matter of fact, it's so powerful that it can reproduce the very states of the universe's introduction to the world. Yet, could this machine, intended to open the privileged insights of the universe, hold the key to something undeniably more inauspicious? CERN, established in 1954, is one of the world's most renowned exploration associations, with 23 part states and a huge number of researchers. It's a center for coordinated effort and development. The LHC is CERN's leader project, yet it's only one section of a tremendous organization of gas pedals and tests. Envision a circuit, not for vehicles or ponies, but rather for subatomic particles in a test of skill and endurance and space itself. The LHC speeds up protons to almost the speed of light, sending them on a crash course that imitates the energy of the universe at that point of the Big Bang. The impacts make temperatures multiple times hotter than the center of the sun. Huge numbers of magnets guide the protons on their excursion, while unpredictable cooling frameworks keep the magnets at temperatures colder than space. The shafts inside the LHC are made to crash at four areas around the gas pedal ring, corresponding to the position of four molecule finders, Chartbook, CMS, ALICE, and LHCB. Each fills a unique need, investigating various parts of molecule material science. Together, they go about as huge cameras, catching snapshots of these crashes. Researchers then filter through the flotsam and jetsam, searching for indications of the slippery Higgs boson, otherwise known as the God particle, and different peculiarities that deal hints to the universe's central structure blocks. By concentrating on the microcosm, we gain bits of knowledge into the world. Yet, with each answer comes another inquiry, and with each revelation, another test. The LHC isn't simply a logical instrument. It's a demonstration of human interest and advancement. It exemplifies our steady quest for information and our craving to figure out the basic powers that shape our universe. Yet, as we push the limits of what we realize, we should likewise consider the moral and existential questions that arise. What are the dangers of examining the obscure? Could our mission for knowledge unintentionally open powers we have zero control over? In the blessed corridors of CERN, where the limits of human comprehension are continually pushed, a disclosure has arisen that sends a shudder down the spine of even the most prepared researchers. Brian Cox, a previous specialist at CERN and a voice of expertise in the realm of molecule material science, has as of late made a declaration that has left the world both captivated and uneasy. Cox's words resound with tormenting clearness. The objective of CERN's enormous Hadron Collider is to reproduce a scaled-down Big Bang. Yes, you heard that right. A little rendition of the very occasion that brought forth our universe. The physicist additionally happened to explain the ramifications of this objective, highlighting the LHC's uncommon potential for making new disclosures. This includes its capacity to open the privileged insights of the Higgs boson and explore dark matter, a secretive substance that makes up a critical part of the universe. Envision holding the force of creation in your grasp, the capacity to summon the very embodiment of the universe. It's a tempting possibility, yet one loaded with peril. The Little Big Bang is not just a hypothetical idea. It's a substantial reality inside the LHC. The temperatures, the tensions, the crude energy, all replicate the states of the universe's earliest stages. It's like standing at the very beginning, witnessing the introduction of existence itself. Yet, with such power comes liability, and the inquiry looms. What if something goes wrong? In fact, something did go wrong back in 1978. The Russian physicist Anat Borsky encountered a catastrophe that would forever modify the course of his life. While chipping away at the U-70 synchrotron at the Institute for High Energy Physics in Russia, a breakdown caused his head to accidentally come into the direct path of a proton beam. The beam, with a power that defies understanding, went through his skull, entering the back of his head and leaving through his nose. Borsky's experience was powerful. He saw a streak brighter than 1,000 suns, yet had no worries. The beam's path left a trail of annihilation, burning tissue and bone. 
but he remained conscious and even walked to the facility for treatment. The fallout was both frightening and intriguing. The beam's path caused localized tissue death, leading to the loss of hearing in one ear and partial facial paralysis. Yet, incredibly, Borsky's intellectual abilities remained intact, and he continued his scientific career. This episode is not just an individual misfortune, but a useful example that highlights the monstrous power and potential risk of molecule gas pedals. The dangers of an atom smasher like the LHC are not to be taken lightly. The potential for unexpected reactions, the very texture of existence being altered. These are not the stuff of science fiction, but real concerns voiced by some in established research circles. One of the most disturbing and spellbinding concerns related to the LHC's experiments is the chance of creating a miniature black hole. Black holes are regions of space-time where gravity is so strong that not even light can escape. They are enormous vacuum cleaners, devourers of stars, mysterious substances that lurk in the shadows of our universe. The idea that the LHC could create such an entity, even on a tiny scale, is shocking to both the general public and scientists alike. Could this black hole ever grow uncontrollably, swallowing the Earth from the inside? However, researchers at CERN have assured that any black hole created would be unstable and vanish almost immediately. This remote chance has sparked discussions, fears, and a sense of wonder at the power we wield. It's essential to understand how the LHC could create a black hole. It has to do with the basic mechanics of molecule gas pedals. When protons are crushed together at almost the speed of light, the energy released is tremendous to the point that it twists the fabric of space-time itself. Imagine a trampoline stretched tight, and then a significant weight is dropped onto it. The fabric bends and twists, and if the weight is heavy enough, it could create a depression so deep that anything nearby would be pulled into it. That is a simplified analogy for what could happen in the LHC, in the realm of quantum mechanics, where the rules of the universe are both strange and wonderful. There exists a theory that extra dimensions might be concealed within our reality. If these dimensions exist, the LHC's impacts could take advantage of them, creating a gravitational well that, Structures an infinitesimal dark opening. This mysterious dance of particles has even grabbed the eye of some world popular researchers, especially the late Stephen. Pedling, in his book, cautioned of a situation where the Higgs boson could become unsteady at exceptionally high energy levels. This strength could prompt a disastrous vacuum rot, a vast occurrence that wouldn't just annihilate the Earth, but also the whole universe itself. The regarded English cosmologist and astrophysicist, Sir Martin Rees, too, communicated his concerns about the tests led at CERN in his book on what's in store, possibilities for humankind. He investigated the possible dangers related to atom smasher tests, including those at CERN. His words were not only preventative, but were touched with a feeling of existential fear. He discussed a most dire outcome imaginable where a doomed trial could create a condition called vacuum precariousness. This shakiness could, in theory, trigger a stage progress that would echo through the actual texture of space-time, resulting in a vast calamity that could overwhelm the whole universe. Rees's concerns were not restricted to hypothetical insights. He doled out a likelihood to these disastrous results, yet a low one. However, even a microscopic opportunity, he contended, ought to provide us cause to stop and think. The stakes are unfathomably high, and the margin for error is razor thin. The researchers at CERN have determined the probabilities, run the simulations, and analyzed the hypotheses to contend for the safety of the LHC. In fact, Brian Cox himself recognized the importance of responsible investigation, perceiving that there are inevitable feelings of trepidation and concerns surrounding the activities of the LHC. He underscored that there are thorough safety measures in place, broad audits and protocols that ensure the LHC's operations are conducted with the utmost attention to detail. Cox consoled that the energies involved are well within what the Earth naturally experiences, and the chances of creating a stable dark opening are cosmically low. Regardless of whether one were made, scientists say it would be so minuscule and unstable that it would dissipate instantly as energy, a phenomenon anticipated by Stephen Hawking known as Hawking Radiation. It would be a transient moment of enormous marvel, a brief glimpse into the void, and then gone. Some have gone further, 
speculating that the LHC's trials could open a gateway to another universe or aspect. This idea, however, is largely dismissed by established scientists but has caught the imagination of many and has become a subject of interest, fear, and even legend. What lies beyond our world? Might we, at some point, accidentally release powers or substances that we don't comprehend? The thought of opening an entrance to hell has, indeed, even been sensationalized in various media, fanning the fire of vulnerability. Yet, how did this idea come to be? And what does it mean in the context of scientific investigation? The concept of parallel aspects isn't new in physics. String theory, a main contender for a unified theory of everything, suggests that there might be more than the recognizable three dimensions of space and one of time. These extra aspects could be compactified or hidden from our insight, yet they could hypothetically be accessed or revealed under extreme circumstances. Now, imagine the LHC as an invaluable key, opening doors that have been sealed since the earliest days of recorded history. When protons crash at energies never before achieved on Earth, they could, in principle, create waves or vibrations that test these hidden aspects. It is the stuff of science fiction, but it has a foundation in the mathematics of string theory. Could we unwittingly open a door to another world, or worse, release something we have no control over? So, what does this all mean for humankind's future? Should we end our quest for knowledge for fear of the unknown, or should we press forward, understanding that the pursuit of revelation is both an honor and a responsibility? The questions raised by the LHC's investigations are vast and significant, and the answers will continue to shape how we understand the universe and our place within it. One thing is sure, the LHC has the potential to change all that we know about the universe and our very existence. Yet, with that knowledge comes an unnerving realization. There are some things that are best left unseen. As the LHC continues to stretch the boundaries of how we understand the universe, its very presence serves as a reminder of the double-edged nature of human curiosity. While the quest for knowledge and discovery is respectable, the questions raised by particle accelerators like the LHC challenge us to reconsider the balance between scientific advancement and the potential dangers involved. The energy surrounding the LHC is not just about unraveling the mysteries of the universe, but also about confronting the deepest fears of what could go wrong. One of the major questions raised by CERN's tests is whether humankind is ready to handle the consequences of these revelations. The LHC's primary objective, to unlock the secrets of the universe, depends heavily on investigating quantum physics, a field that defies intuition as we attempt to understand the very forces that govern existence. Scientists are increasingly finding that the principles of classical physics no longer apply at the quantum level. This strange world of subatomic particles works according to probabilities rather than certainties, making predictions difficult and adding to the inherent risks. In fact, one of the most intriguing results of the LHC's research has been its investigation into quantum fluctuations. These tiny, seemingly insignificant disturbances in the vacuum of space can lead to phenomena that have never been observed before. One such concept that has come to the forefront is the possibility of quantum tunneling where particles can move through barriers that, according to classical physics, they should never be able to cross. In a way, this mirrors the uncertainty and eccentricity that surrounds the work being done at CERN. It is a reminder that, while we can observe and measure these tiny particles with incredible accuracy, the results may still be governed by forces we do not fully understand. However, as disturbing as the risks may seem, the allure of discovery and the potential to answer questions that have lingered for millennia cannot be denied. The study of dark matter, for example, could change our understanding of the universe. Dark matter makes up around 85% of the universe's mass, yet it remains invisible and undetectable by current instruments. The LHC's experiments, with their ability to control particle collisions at very high energies, could offer the breakthrough that physicists have been waiting for potentially providing the first concrete evidence of this elusive material. Nonetheless, there are those who believe that the drive for discovery may be clouding our judgment. Critics of the LHC often point out that, while the potential benefits are exciting, the risks could be catastrophic. One of the most troubling aspects of the LHC is its ability to create conditions similar to those that existed in the moments following the Big Bang. 
If an infinitesimal dark opening were to form, it could cause strange results. While scientists insist that such a dark opening would dissipate in nanoseconds, some argue that we can't be so sure. The idea that we could reproduce the extreme conditions of the early universe comes with a serious responsibility, and some fear that humanity's ability to control this power is still too limited. The LHC's ability to create potentially powerful phenomena isn't just limited to dark openings in theoretical physics. There is an idea known as the multiverse, that there might be an infinite number of parallel universes, each with its own distinct properties. Some have speculated that the experiments at CERN could give us a brief glimpse into these alternate universes. While this remains highly speculative, it highlights the broader implications of the work being done at the LHC. What if we could somehow interact with, or even control, these alternate realities? The very thought sends a shiver through both mainstream scientists and the general public. Moreover, there is a larger ethical question that arises from all of this. Should humankind strive to push the boundaries of scientific understanding without fully knowing the consequences? As with any powerful resource, there is the risk of misuse, whether intentional or accidental. Throughout history, humanity has made discoveries that were once thought impossible, from nuclear power to genetic manipulation. While these discoveries have led to tremendous advancements in medicine, technology, and energy, they have also brought unforeseen side effects some of which have been tragic. In this light, the work at CERN might be a harbinger of both the promise and the danger that comes with scientific advancement. It asks us to consider whether the pursuit of knowledge, no matter how noble, is always worth the potential costs. The LHC represents not just a groundbreaking experiment in particle physics, but also a lesson for the broader human journey to understand our place in the universe. And as we delve further into the fabric of reality, we must ask ourselves, what are we willing to risk in the name of discovery?